from the famous and well-known mangaka that wrote Belzebub brings us a new manga series in Weekly Shonen Jump titled Hungry Marie. Now, at this time, if I am correct, there is two chapters out. Now, I've only read one chapter for a first impressions, and overall, this is supposedly going to be coming out on a weekly basis because it's in Weekly Shonen Jump. Now, if you've ever heard of the mangaka that wrote Belzebub, most likely you know that the mangaka has a really good track record with comedy and also making a pretty damn fucking good story. I love Belzebub. I love the previous work from this mangaka. I love the anime, I love the manga. I was sad about with how, you know, Belzebub overall got ended, but I still loved Belzebub because of the way it was written. And I'm glad to see this mangaka back once again with a new series in Weekly Shonen Jump titled Hungry Marie. Now, this series really shows the experience from the mangaka. It really does. Because I've read a lot of titles now that's came out this week. You know, the new mangaka that's coming in, you know, weekly Shonen Jump and writing new series and stuff. I've read a lot of the new, sh you know, chapters and stuff. And overall, out of everything I have read, you can clearly see with Hungry Marie that this mangaka has a lot of experience with writing manga. And you can really see that because Belzebub was a pretty good and long series. And so with that amount of time and effort put into Belzebub, obviously you would get a lot of experience and learn how to write a story and pace your chapters. And with the first chapter, you can clearly see that. You see how the way the story is structured with the first chapter. It's not like a new mangaka that's trying to introduce everything at once to get everybody's attention because, you know, that's what a lot of, you know, people have to do in Weekly Shonen Jump. They have to make sure they get everybody to understand what the story is about, the characters, the personalities, everything before they can get your attention. That's what a lot of mangaka have to do, but that does not happen with Hungry Marie. It does not. Now, there is introductions, there is good plot development going on with the first chapter, but because of the way this mangaka has experience, the way it's paced feels fluid. It does not feel like something that is forced together to try to get your attention. And that is how you know this is probably going to be a very good series. And the reason how I knew it's probably going to be good was because when I was reading a chapter and I was just reading it page by page, honestly, I didn't even realize it was a 50 plus page first chapter. That's how much I was enjoying the first chapter because it caught my attention. The art was really nice. It reminded me of Belzebub, obviously, since it's from the same artist and writer. But on top of that, the way the writer was able to throw in comedy, it shows that this writer knows how to get the attention of readers, but also realizes that you can't always just do exposition in the first chapter. You gotta just, you know, make sure everybody enjoys reading it and the time just passes on. You don't even realize the chapter's over when you get to that final page. And that's what Hungry Marie left me with. I was like, holy shit. I already read the first chapter like it was nothing, and, and it felt like only a couple minutes because I was just enjoying it that much. Now, before we go any further, many of you are probably asking, what is the series about? Hungry Marie. Well, obviously, it's a shonen. The demographic is shonen. It's in Weekly Shonen Jump. It seems to be a supernatural slash fantasy series that's going to have some form of, I'm assuming, religious themes, but on top of that, it is a rom-com. So, that's something that many might like or dislike. If you don't like rom Rom-coms, you might not like it, but since this is from the writer of Belzebub, I'm willing to bet you that this is going to be a very good manga, and it's not going to hold all those standard cliches we see in a lot of other rom-coms and manga nowadays. So I have a lot of, you know, hope in this series, and I feel like this series does have a lot of potential, and I really do appreciate what this series is trying to do, especially towards the end. It was something completely unexpected, which might either make people want to not continue reading, or you might be interested in continue reading the series. So, there is a little bit of a twist towards the end of the chapter, which I'm going to say right now, if you have not read the first chapter of Hungry Marie, I do not recommend you to continue on this video, because I don't want to spoil that plot twist on the first chapter. So, at the end of the chapter, the main male character gets turned into a female. So, it is going to be a gender bender series. So, if you like gender benders, then you most likely are going to like this series. Now, obviously, if you don't like gender benders, you're probably going to hate the series. And I'm glad. I'm glad to have something like this because it's very refreshing and different. I mean, 
I've seen some genderbender series here and there, and they can honestly offer a lot of good, you know, segments throughout the chapters that can be very, very funny. And since this is from the beloved mangaka that wrote Beelzebub, I'm expecting great things from this series because of it being a genderbender. Honestly, I'm kind of glad to have another one because recently Boku Girl just concluded, like, the final chapter came out, so I needed another, you know, genderbender series. So yeah, the first chapter of Hunger Marie is something that I'm definitely going to be reading on a weekly basis. I am looking forward to seeing the future chapters and where the series goes. I do hope that this manga does not get cancelled because, as you know, Weekly Shonen Jump, after a certain set amount of chapters, if it's not doing well, they'll just give it the axe and it's just gone and it's just GG dead as fuck. And so I do hope that Hunger Marie doesn't fall to that and it does continue to progress as a series and eventually become a long-running series because honestly we need more long-running series. I mean the only bit of things I actually review nowadays that's from Weekly Shonen Jump is you know Boku no Hero Academia and One Piece because all the other long-running shonen I did review has finally concluded. So I'm glad to see you know, new, a uh, possible long-running manga actually coming into Weekly Shonen Jump, and I might be able to, you know, read them for a good long while, because, I mean, hey, we need more, I want some more quality content in Weekly Shonen Jump, and this does seem like that because the writer of Belzebub. So, yeah, if you like Belzebub, I think you'll like this series. If you like Genderbenders, I think you'll definitely love this series because of where it's probably gonna go, and, I mean, if you like the art style and all that from Belzebub, you're also gonna like it, too, so... Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. How do you feel about the first chapter of Hunger Marie? Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Please be honest in the comments below. And I love you all so much. Have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.